Okay, so here we have a problem where it's asking us, is it a rectangle? And here's what it looks like. Here, I have what looks like a rectangle, A, B, C, D. So it looks like a rectangle. And in order to be able to say it's a rectangle, you have to first know what a rectangle is. Right, because a lot of times things appear to be something, but they're really not. So, one of the cool things about mathematics is we can actually prove if this is a rectangle or not. So, the starting point we're going to use is the definition of a rectangle. What is a rectangle? So, if you look it up in a textbook, which is what I did, here's what I found. It says here, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. And when I look at this definition, this is what stands out to me. It says it's a quadrilateral, and by quadrilateral, I know that means it has four sides, and it says it has four right angles. Four right angles, which means it has four 90 degree angles. So a right angle is a 90 degree angle, and it should have four of them. So if I were to make like a little checklist, I have to show it's a quadrilateral which means four sides and I can see in this picture that we have segment AB segment BC segment CD and segment DA which is four line segments therefore I could put a check here I already know it's a quadrilateral it has four sides and then the other part of the definition says it has four right angles so four right angles now looking at this picture, they look like right angles, right? They look like 90 degree angles, but in mathematics, we can't just simply go based on what it appears to be, right? Because it's possible it could be, let's say, 89 degrees, 88 degrees. It could be 91 degrees. It could be 90 degrees. I don't know. And that's why we have to show it using mathematics. So that's one of the cool things about math is that we can actually prove this without getting a protractor out and measuring the angles. We can just use numbers. And one of the things you have to recall to be able to use numbers to show if these are 90 degree angles, you have to recall something. If you remember the word perpendicular, perpendicular means when two lines or line segments, they intersect to form a 90 degree angle. So I want to know if angle A, angle D, angle C, and angle B are 90 degree angles. So I can use the idea of perpendicular lines, or in this case, line segments, to see if this is in fact a 90 degree angle or a right angle. So one of the things with perpendicular is we can look at the slopes to see if they are perpendicular. So perpendicular slopes, I'll put a question mark because I want to know are these perpendicular slopes? Right, the slope of segment AB and the slope of segment AD. I want to check, are they perpendicular? So how do we check if they're perpendicular? You have to remember the slopes. So if you remember, slope is a ratio of rise over run. For perpendicular slopes, when you're looking at the actual values of the slopes, you're going to find a relationship. So I'm going to make up some letters. Let's say I have the slope of some line segment. It's A over B. It's a ratio, right? And where A and B represent any real number. Well, a perpendicular slope. So I'll put a little perpendicular slope. Would be the reciprocal of this, which means to switch the numerator and the denominator. And if you look at this, for instance, if this is a positive slope, right? Read the slope from left to right, just like you read a sentence. This is increasing, so it's a positive. Well, I can see if this is perpendicular, it'd have to be a negative slope. So then that's the other part for perpendicular slopes. So one is positive, one's negative. And you can see here that the, they are reciprocals of each other. And basically this idea applies for slopes such as they're on diagonals like this. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is because you could have a vertical line 
and you could have a horizontal line and I know these are perpendicular they form a 90 degree angle and but the slope of this line here is undefined the slope of this line is zero so when we're thinking of this relationship it's really more for slopes that are on diagonals like we have here so I just want to point that out okay so we're gonna use this idea to see if we have that relationship between the slope of segment AB and segment AD and we'll repeat that process for the other angles that are formed so let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at I'm gonna start with angle A so angle A is formed by segment AB so I'm gonna look at the slope of that segment so the slope of segment AB is so I'm gonna look for that ratio and since I have a graph I can just simply draw a right triangle connecting those two endpoints where I'm gonna count this this I can see has four spaces this has a distance of three and the ratio is rise over run the rise would be this vertical length so it'd be three over four and four is the run it's the horizontal length so that's how we measure the slope is the ratio for rise and run and now I'm gonna look at the slope for segment a D so now I'm gonna look at the slope for segment AD so slope of segment AD is so I'm gonna get that ratio so I draw my right triangle and the run I can see here is length 2 the rise has a length of 3 and the ratio of rise which is 3 over the run which is 2 is 3 over 2 and when I read this slope here read the slope just like you do a sentence from left to right I can see that when I get from point A to point D along that slope it's decreasing so since this is decreasing it's a negative slope same thing applies for segment BA from left to right when I read this slope you always read it from left to right just like you read a sentence so to get from point B to point A you can see that it's increasing in this case so that's why this slope is a positive value so now I'll compare these two slopes and I can see they're not perpendicular why because we remember we're looking for this relationship where we have one slope and the other slope would be the reciprocal and opposite value well if I look at three-fourths the reciprocal of three-fourths would have been four-thirds right switch the numerator with the denominator and since this is positive this is a negative so if the slope of segment AD was actually negative four-thirds then we can say that these two segments are perpendicular which means they are they form a right angle but since this is not the case we don't have that slope for the uh, segment AD we know that we don't have perpendicular slopes so slopes are not perpendicular I'll make a little note so the slopes are not perpendicular and since the slopes are not perpendicular I know that angle A is not a right angle so angle A is not a right angle so this here not a right angle and since it's not a right angle remember the definition says a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles and since this angle here is not a right angle I don't have to go through the process of checking the relationships between all these slopes because even if all these were possibly 90 degree angles it wouldn't matter because we know this angle here angle A this is not a right angle and since we need four right angles we know that rectangle ABCD or sorry it's not a rectangle ABC that wouldn't even make sense right the definition of a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles so 
quadrilateral, we can say quadrilateral because it is four sided. So quadrilateral A, B, C, D is not. So it's not a rectangle. All right, and our work supports that because we need four right angles and we found out that the slopes are not perpendicular in the case for those two line segments that form angle A. Since angle A is not a right angle, we, it's not possible to have four right angles and therefore quadrilateral ABCD is not a rectangle.